Hey, how's it going guys? Dalton here with another video on the YouTube channel, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what happens if you take Micah's dead body off Mount Hagen and bring him to the Strawberry Jail. I want to find out if anybody would remember Micah, if they would take the dead body. I want to see what kind of outcome we can get if we take his dead body to the Strawberry Jail. Like, would the sheriff take him? Would the sheriff tell us to bury or even burn him because he was the dishonorable outlaw in Chapter 2? And as you guys know, when you come here for the first time as you kill Maiko in the final mission of the game, you'll notice that you can actually have the option to pick up his revolver, which is actually the best looking design weapon in the game, in my opinion, if you actually return there. So that was the first option that you have a chance to um, pick up his revolver. Upon returning the next 24 hours later, you will actually have the option to pick up Micah's dead body. And this is where we get to the experiment. And I honestly think it's really cool to do this because I, I've actually read your guys' comments in the last video. And one of you guys actually suggests what happens if you take Micah to the jail in Strawberry to Take Micah's dead body and I said hey you know what that would be a really cool thing to actually do so thank you um, for suggesting that and if you guys have any other future videos you want me to do just let me know in the comments down below but you guys will notice I have Micah's dead body now there are tons of things that you can do with this dead body because since Micah's an evil outlaw and it killed Arthur and he's just a really bad person honestly people could throw him in a geyser watch him blow up they could throw him off the cliff they could use dynamite and literally blow him off the cliff they could shoot him until his body disappears or burn him whatever you want to do but today we are just kind of going to experiment what happens so I kind of wanted to take a look at this cabin because I don't really come to Mount Hagen very often when I played Red Dead Redemption 2 the only time I've ever been here is in the last mission when we actually grabbed the money so I actually wanted to find out if the money was actually if there was still remains money in there and no there is not so that's another thing I actually wanted to do and this area is actually really nice and peaceful up here I don't really come up here unless it was the final mission I did come up here once to grab Micah's gun but that is about it. Now, if you want both of Micah's guns in the beginning of the game when the camp is in when the camp is in Calter, if you do that mission where you take out Comb O'Driscoll's hideout and you take out his O'Driscoll's, you can actually have the option to have an O'Driscoll fight Micah and Michael will drop his revolver. We actually cover that in a different Red Dead Redemption 2 video, but if you guys want two revolvers of Micah, you have to get one in the beginning of the game and then at the end of the game and then you'll have both of Micah's revolvers, which is kind of cool. Now our experiment actually begins. So what I did is I decided to bring Micah all the way to Strawberry in the middle of the woodlands and it was actually kind of hard because even if you actually bring a dead body, Micah, you'd feel like the townsmen wouldn't really care because a lot of people were actually excited that John, Sadie, and Charles were going after Micah at the end of the game to actually get revenge and possibly hang him as Cleet got hanged in that mission, one of his main boys. Um, but you guys can just about see here, it's not that bad to actually bring a dead body, but I did notice something. I did notice that the strawberry people really did care that I brought Micah's dead body. Now, at the beginning, I thought things were going smoothly, but instead, all of a sudden, I got the law on me, and I was wanted under John Marston. So I was like, why is this even happening? I mean, like, are you serious? So I had a gun. I literally had to, like throw Micah's body on my horse, get out of here. I dropped Micah's body a couple times. I got killed by the sheriffs. I got wanted. I literally had to run away from the sheriffs. And uh, once again, the experiment kind of backfired because I dropped Micah's body, had to fight off a whole bunch of sheriffs. Then all of a sudden I had to pick up Micah's dead body and then I got hurt him again and then I lost his dead body and then I had to find it. So it was a really hard experiment nonetheless. But you guys can see I kind of had to defend off all of the sheriffs of West Elizabeth Strawberry and my horse died good thing I had a medicine tonic and I had to pick up my guy's body again and then I got shot so it was a really tough experiment and I wasn't done I was like oh my gosh it's like can I ever and conquer this mission so what I did is I decided just to run away and run away but all in then, I came back after the law was still searching for me because I wasn't done with this experiment. I was like, I want to finish bringing Micah's dead body to the Strawberry Jail. 
So what I did is I decided what happens if I just lasso all the sheriffs, throw them all behind, and then I lost my wanted level after ending them. And then I had a lawman underneath the eye. And then I got witnessed for kidnapping again. For a crime report. Why is it a crime to bring Micah's dead body, the evilest person of West Elizabeth, to the whole community? Why is it a crime to bring his dead body to the jail? Now, I never understood this. As you guys can see, the sheriff's kind of sitting there talking to me. I never understood this exactly. Why am I having to surrender? Why am I having to leave and getting arrested just for bringing Micah's evil dead body to the strawberry jail? So that's how things ended. I ended up getting arrested. I didn't want to decide to like argue with the sheriff because I didn't want to get shot. But then in the all, I did lose Micah's body because I got arrested. So things were going the best. So then what I decided to do is I was like, wow, that was the greatest experiment. So I did kind of fail at that experiment, but we weren't done yet. I wanted to kind of see what happens if, you know, what happens if I go back to Mount Hagen and kind of see and Micah's dead body was actually gone so his body was no longer there so I guess that kind of ends the experiment what happens if you bring Micah's body to the strawberry jail well really nothing the law will just you get wanted and what I wanted to do is I noticed Micah had like a dead body in the outhouse I wanted to find out what exactly who was actually in there because we've talked about this in previous Red Dead Redemption 2 videos I wanted to exactly find out like who the heck is in here? Who the heck is Micah hiding? Was it one of his brothers? Was it one of his enemies? Was it one of the persons that Cleet warned us that Micah killed a little girl and maybe he stuffed it in here? Well, it looks more like another one of his uh, enemies, so I don't think it would be the little girl that he shot because I think that was during one of the robberies that they did back between when Marston left the gang. But you'll notice that I got inside here with the pistol glitch and I decided to even think that this glitch wouldn't even work, but you can just briefly see who actually is in this outhouse, and whoever it was is literally dead and no longer living, and it looks like they chopped his head off, or it looks like they just threw him in here um, to die. That's what I'm seeing here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this for yourself, but if you want to know if the diamond and piss are... If you want to know if the gun and pistol glitch and the lantern glitch actually still works, it actually does in 2024, which is quite cool. But you guys can just about see that is exactly kind of what happens if you decide to bring Micah's dead body to the Strawberry Jail. And then I remember there's another Como Dristo camp, so I wasn't really satisfied with that, but I did kind of want to find out the dead body. So if you guys kind of get an understanding of how this exactly works, I also want to show you guys what it's like before um, we end this video. I want to show you guys how we end up killing Micah, if I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already seen how, you know, ending up as we get on Mount Hagen with Sadie and Charles, and then we kill Micah. But I want to show you guys the cutscene of the ending of the game, showing you guys how Micah's dead body actually appeared on Mount Hagen. Take a look at this cutscene right here. <laughs> Oh. Come on now, Micah! At least die like a man! <laughs> Hell fire! It's just like old times! <laughs> Come on! You turn around and start walking! You got me! Just like. Old times, hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John! Now! What were you saying? Thank you. I... I... So 
So that is how kind of how the game ultimately starts. Basically, Sadie, Charles, and John going to kill Micah, and then Dutch kind of runs away from the money, and that is kind of like the ending, and then that's when you kind of can go back up there. So that kind of gives you guys a description on how Micah's dead body got there. If you haven't really played Red Dead Redemption 2 very often, or even haven't even got to the ending yet, sorry for spoilers, but that kind of wraps it up. That's what happens if you bring Micah's dead body off Mount Hagen and bring him to the Strawberry Jail. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys do enjoy videos like this on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos such as Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, all the upcoming GTA 6 and Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing on my channel. Subscribe for more of those, and of course, let me know in the comments down below if you have any other Red Dead Redemption 2 videos you would like me to explore. Let me know in the comments down below. But like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you stay happy, healthy, and well, and I'll see you guys all later on the next video.